My mom was a great person. For Kaya Smith, there was no better mother in the world than her mom, Stacy Smith. Smith's tragic murder is something her mother, Gwen Butler, will never understand. I haven't processed that yet. You know, I, I'm not sure I'm ready to even admit that she's not here, she won't be coming, you know, because uh, this is, this is just unreal. Smith's family is in disbelief over the murder and more so because of the person investigators believe committed the crime. Forty-eight-year-old Stacy Smith was a loving and caring woman who loved helping others. Most importantly, she was an amazing mother to her 19-year-old daughter and 14-year-old son. She had an extremely close relationship with her daughter, who describes her as the best mother that anyone could have. On Memorial Day, Stacy's boyfriend proposed to her. She was on top of the world and excited about this new chapter in her life. On June 9th, Stacy dropped her daughter off at work before starting her day, never realizing that she would never see or speak to her again. Just after 11.20 a.m., Detroit police were called to a home on Berg Road on Detroit's west side. Upon arrival, they would locate the partially burned body of an adult female. The incident happened on June 9th in the 20,300 block of Berg Road in Detroit. The victim was identified as 48-year-old Stacy Smith, who was sadly pronounced dead at the scene. According to her 19-year-old daughter, she went over to her mother's home after she was unable to get in contact with her. Once inside, she would immediately recognize the smell of lighter fluid. She would ultimately make a gruesome discovery, finding her mother's deceased body inside of her room with a noticeable burn mark on her leg. An autopsy would later reveal that Stacy was in fact strangled to death and stabbed in the chest. It is believed that whoever killed her tried to cover up the crime with the fire. Just three days after her murder, police would quickly arrest her fiancé, 42-year-old Cortez Xavier Coleman. Stacy's family says their lives have completely changed and that this is a feeling that will never heal. Although they did not know much about Coleman, they never expected something like this to happen. From what they knew, everything in the relationship seemed fine, and Stacy was super excited about her recent engagement. In fact, the couple lived together along with her son and daughter for two years, and there were no signs of physical or verbal abuse. Her daughter recalls the two arguing the day of her murder. However, there was no physical altercation. Now her daughter, who should be enjoying her early years of college and all the experience has to offer, is forced to step up and care for her 14-year-old brother, who is struggling with the reality of his mother's death. My mom was the most beautiful um, spirit. You can see that spirit has been passed on to daughter Kaya Smith. A smile, even though just last week she found her mom, Stacy Smith, dead, murdered in their West Side Detroit home. I found her, um, she was laid unconscious um, in her room and she had a burn mark on her leg. I touched her, she was, she was cold. And, um, at that point, I just I called the police as fast as I could. Kaya says their house smelled like lighter fluid or gasoline and her mom's bed was partially burnt. An autopsy would later reveal 48 year old Stacy was strangled to death. Her fiance was arrested by Detroit police this week. It really changed our life in a really drastic way. And um, I want her to know that like this is really like unforgiving. The fiance has not been charged yet. That's why we're not naming him. As of what I knew, he loved my mom so, and my mom really loved him. Like my mom was very excited. They had just got engaged on Memorial Day. Kaya says her mom's fiance lived with them for two years. It's very unexpected because I've never seen him ever. You know, I've, I've seen arguments and they were actually arguing that day, but I've never seen him put his hands on my mom or them get physical ever. Now Kaya, a 19-year-old junior at Grand Valley State University, stepping into a caretaker role for her 14-year-old brother. He's not taking it good. He's not. Kaya says she lost her best friend. My mom did everything for me, so it's kind of like I'm just kind of getting thrown out there. Stacy's daughter has created a fundraiser to raise money for her mother's unexpected funeral expenses. 42-year-old Cortez Xavier Coleman was charged with first-degree murder and is being held without bond. Police are still working to determine a possible motive. The case remains ongoing. The Wayne County Prosecutor's Office is charging her fiance, Cortez Coleman, for the murder, accusing him of strangling her to death. 
The incident happened on June 9th in the 20,300 block of Berg Road in Detroit. Prosecutors also say he stabbed her in the chest and burned her leg before he fled the scene. Coleman appeared before a judge for the first time Thursday arraigned on a first-degree murder charge. Smith's family says they were unaware if their relationship became violent, but they say Stacy was happy, adding that Coleman proposed just two weeks ago. Um, the last time I spoke to my mom was before she dropped me out for uh, work. So before that, you know, I know they we were all together and they were kind of having like a disagreement, an argument before um, something little. So it's just... I didn't really expect it to get to what it did, you know. I didn't think I would come home and then I wouldn't be able to talk to my mom. The family says they didn't know Coleman well, but they never thought he was capable of killing Stacy. They say the pain of losing her will never heal, and her sister, Don Patterson, says she can't wait to see him in court to simply ask him why. Even if he don't say anything, if he just stand there, I want him to know how I feel. I want to tell him. <laughs> what he took. I want him to know what he did was unforgivable. And um, he really tremendously, um, tremendously impacted my life in such a negative way, me and my brother and just the rest of my family. And as for Coleman, he was denied bond during his arraignment today, and he's going to stay in jail until the resolution of his trial.